Oh, dear, did I hit you too hard? You should be able to take that much of a hit. It was only half of what my mother used to give me when I was your age. I'd expect you'd be able to handle it without making such a fuss. What you did was mean and unacceptable. How could you just hit me with a broom like that out of nowhere? That was completely uncalled for and rude. That's something you should get used to if you're going to be part of this family. It's quite normal to get a beating once in a while for your own good. It builds character and resilience. What age did you live in? And why would anyone deserve a beating for just talking about their wedding plans? That's absurd and cruel. <laughs> like I would accept that easily. If you're gonna marry my son, you should be tough enough to take a hit from me or anyone else. You can't be so weak and fragile. What kind of twisted logic is that? How does hitting someone make them stronger or better? That's just abusive and irrational. Are you sure you want to insult me like that? Don't you want to marry Martin? If you want my blessing, you should be more careful of your words and tone. Besides, you should have been able to anticipate something like this would happen and be prepared for it as well. It's not like I didn't warn you. I'm sure no one would anticipate being suddenly attacked the first time they meet their fiancé's mother. That's not a normal or reasonable thing to do. And what do you mean you warned me? You never said anything about hitting me. Well, you never know what'll happen these days. It does get violent sometimes on the streets, you know. Have you seen how the crime rates have risen in the past few years? You should be ready for anything. This has nothing to do with what you did. And it doesn't justify your reasons either. You can't use the excuse of violence in the world to justify your own violence. And on top of that, I did mention that I was recovering from a broken arm, didn't I? Why would you hit me on the arm all of the places? Oh, yes. You did say that, didn't you? A clumsy fall on the stairs, wasn't it? How unfortunate for you. But maybe it was a sign that you shouldn't marry my son. It was almost back to normal and now my arms hurt like hell. You may break it again. How can you be so heartless and insensitive? Ugh, stop whining. You won't be a good wife if you can't take a little pain like that. You should be grateful that I didn't hit you harder. You need to toughen up. Enduring pain has nothing to do with marriage. Marriage is supposed to be about love and respect, not pain and abuse. Oh, but it does. Pain is inevitable in life and marriage. You have to learn to deal with it. Anyway, now you know your place in the family. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? A first impression is always very important. And now you know who's in charge here. You have to listen to me and do as I say. I'm the boss of this house and this family. Sorry, but that doesn't make any sense. I think everyone should show each other respect and kindness. Otherwise, there's no harmony or peace within the family. <laughs> yes, of course, you should always show respect to me. But don't expect me to show respect to you. You have to earn it. And you haven't done anything to impress me so far. Well, I'm really just not sure about this anymore. I don't think I can live like this. I'm not sure about what exactly? In this marriage, obviously. I'm having second thoughts about it. Huh. If you're gonna give up now, then you shouldn't have even gotten engaged in the first place. You're just wasting everyone's time and energy. You're not fit to be my daughter-in-law. Don't get me wrong. I love Martin, but with you being like this, I'm doubting we will get along together at all. I don't want to be in constant conflict with you. You're worried about me making your life miserable? Too bad for you, though. You won't be able to get rid of me if you marry my son. I will be with you all the time. I will make sure you follow my rules and standards. What do you mean? You're not going to live with us, are you? We'll be living together, of course. You can't be serious. Of course, what did you expect? Part of marrying Martin means taking care of his family. And that's me. So naturally, you two will be moving in here. Martin never mentioned this to me. Does he even know about this? Of course he knows. I've even prepared a room for you two. It's the smallest room in the house, but it should be enough since you only need it for sleeping. 
The rest of your time here will be used for cleaning, cooking, and tending to the house as well as my needs. So the only time you'll have for yourself will be when you're sleeping. That's absolutely out of the question. I have no intentions of being a dedicated housewife. I love my job and plan to keep working. Besides, with Martin and my income, although small, we can probably get a decent enough place of our own. Oh my, it looks like someone needs to be taught another lesson. Do you not understand what it means to be married at all? A good wife should be a woman who stays at home, nurturing the needs of her husband and her family. The man should be the one making the money, and the woman should be the one supporting him from home. What era do you think we are in? Have you not noticed how women are working and contributing to society nowadays? Do you not see the news? There are tons of married women who are successfully running their own businesses as well. Be quiet and listen to your elders. You must obey and say and do as you are told. Sorry, but I can't waste any more time and strength in this conversation. I'm heading to the hospital now to get my arm checked. Oh, are you running away from me? Do you think that's wise? Yes, it seems like talking with you will just lead nowhere. Don't you go anywhere. You need to understand what you're supposed to be doing. Are you listening? Martin, why didn't you come after me when I left? I was so hurt and angry that you didn't even bother to check on me. You're the one who left suddenly without much of an explanation. You just stormed out of the house without giving me a chance to talk to you. I told you that your mom hit me with a broom. How could you not get upset or even worry about me and come after me? I had to go to the hospital again because it hurt so much. The doctor confirmed that she had broken my arm. That's a pretty good explanation, don't you think? I have no idea why you would say that, but there's no way my mother would hit you. Hell, she never gave me a beating in my life. Why would she do that to you? She's always been kind and gentle. Why don't you believe me? I'm telling you the truth. Your mother is not what she seems. She's a violent and abusive person. Well, my mother had a different story, which made a lot more sense. She said she tripped on the stairs and accidentally hit you with the broom. She was very sorry and tried to help you, but you pushed her away and ran out. That's not true. She told me she had something to show me in her room and then she suddenly started hitting me with the broom. She said she wanted to teach me a lesson and make me tough. She was laughing and mocking me the whole time. <laughs> That's just not possible. You are crazy. To be honest, I'm really disappointed in you. Even if it's embarrassing to fall down the stairs and break your arm again, you should just admit it. I can't believe you would claim my mother attacked you for no reason. Sure, she may look strict, but she would never hurt a fly. She loves you and wants you to be happy. We're going to live with each other, so you should try to get along with her. I'm the one disappointed here. You don't believe me, and on top of that, you made a decision about our lives without even asking my opinion. You never mentioned anything about living with your mother. When did you decide that? But she doesn't have anyone else to live with. She'll be lonely without me. She's old and needs someone to take care of her. I'm her only son, and I have a duty to do that. I think she'll be okay. I hardly know anyone who lives with their parents at our age, especially newlyweds. And don't tell me about being able to save up money because I think we are both financially capable of renting a place and still sustaining our current lifestyle. We have good jobs and we don't need to depend on anyone. So what? Are you suggesting we leave my mother all alone? How heartless do you have to be to leave an old lady all by herself? She's done so much for me and you. She raised me well and she welcomed you into the family. She deserves our respect and gratitude. I think she'll be fine considering she managed to break my arm. She doesn't seem to care about me at all. She only cares about you and herself. She's not welcoming or respectful. She's manipulative and controlling. Wow. I never thought you were this cold-hearted. How disappointing. You don't appreciate my mother or me. That's my line, jerk. You don't appreciate me or my feelings. 
if we're going to get married, don't you think you should learn how to listen to me? I'm your future husband, and you should obey me. I know what's best for us and our family. Now? You're going to tell me you're the kind of guy who thinks the man should be in charge? That's so sexist and outdated. I am your future wife, and you should respect me. I have a say in our decisions and our future. Of course. That's the natural way of things. You should be listening to me, woman. I'm the head of the household, and you're the helper. Don't address me like that. I have a name, jerk. And don't talk to me like that. I'm not your slave or your servant. I'm your partner and your equal. Don't you dare call me a jerk again. I'm taking the cash you have in your sock drawer as a punishment. You don't deserve to have it. You've been lying and cheating on me. Are you serious? You can't take that. That's my money. I earned it fair and square. You have no right to touch it. I can and I will. We're done. The wedding is off. I'm going to use this money to buy my mom something nice to apologize to her for your unhinged accusations. She deserves something better than you. What? I'm fine and would gladly separate with you. But taking my money is unacceptable. You can't do that. That's stealing and that's illegal. Wow, you've got like $1,000 here. That's a lot of money. You must have been saving it for a long time. Too bad you won't get to use it. You're actually taking it? Get out of my sock drawer. That's my personal space. You have no business being there. Calm down. <laughs> I should be able to get her a nice dinner with this. Consider your apology accepted. She'll be happy to hear that you're sorry for what you did. Your mother is the one who owes me an apology. She broke my damn arm. Put that money back. Now. You can just take it and run away. No, not happening. <laughs> Besides, can you even prove that my mother hit you? Do you have any evidence or witnesses? I have messages she sent me proving it. She admitted that she hit me, and she said she enjoyed it. She said she wanted to make me suffer and break up with you. Like I'm going to believe some doctored messages. You probably faked them or paid someone to do it. You're desperate and pathetic. Oh, so you're just not going to accept that actual proof? What was even the point in asking? You're just looking for excuses to deny the truth. I meant real proof. <laughs> like a video or a photo or a medical report or a police report. Anyway, since you don't have any, you can't claim that she owes you an apology, and you definitely can't claim she needs to pay for your hospital bills. Oh, actually, now that makes sense. You made up this lie about my mother hitting you so you could get some money to pay for your hospital bill. What a low life. Seriously, you shouldn't try and frame someone for your own faults, especially an old lady. What? Are you crazy or something? Stop saying stupid things and put the money back. What you're doing is called theft. No, it's not. My mom and I both deserve this money. You filthy thief. I can't believe I never noticed this side of you. I'm going to call the cops. No, no, no. You got it all wrong. I didn't take it. You gave it to us as an apology for hurting my mother's feelings and tricking me into getting engaged with you. What? How delusional can you get? I can't believe I was in love with you. That's my line. I never thought you would turn out to be the kind of heartless woman who would try to frame a harmless old lady. That's it. This conversation is just a waste of time. I'm done. Just wanted to let you know, but I reported both of you to the police. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? You intentionally hit me with a broom and broke my arm in the process. I reported you for assault and battery. Oh, look, dear, if you really want an apology, just say so. There's no need to get the police involved in such trivial matters. If I say sorry for hitting your injured arm, that should be enough, right? Sorry, but an empty apology is worth nothing. Oh, come on. Think about how awkward it'll be once you move in. 
All the neighbors will be talking about the incidents, and unnecessary rumors will go around. And obviously, people are going to believe my story since they know me better than you. Can you live with that? It's okay, since I don't need to worry about any of that. We're never going to be a family, and I will never live with you. So there's really nothing to worry about. What? You called off the wedding? Oh, haven't you heard? Martin and I have separated. What? Oh, he didn't tell me anything. He didn't believe me when I told him about you hitting me. Oh, obviously he's gonna believe his mother over some random girl he met at a party. And he stole money out of my house. Ugh, oh, don't whine over some loose cash. It's not like he scammed you. Loose cash? There was about a thousand dollars in there. Your son is nothing but a common thief. I would love to know your parenting method so I can avoid it in the future. If he really took any money, I'm sure he had a good reason. He deserves it anyway, considering he wasted years of his life with you. <laughs> wow, seriously? Like mother, like son. Even the way you justify robbery is similar. Stop talking like that. My son is not a thief. But he is. He took my money. I reported him to the police as well. If you really think his actions are justifiable, you shouldn't be afraid. Stop. Call the police upright this instant and take it all back. Aha. Uh -huh. So you are afraid then. It looks like you do have something understanding about the world. I'm so lucky you both showed your true colors before we ended up getting married. Where are the lucky ones? How do you figure? Oh, is going to jail what you call lucky these days? No one is going to jail except maybe for you for wasting the police's time and taxpayers' money. You have no proof that I hit you. Nor do you have proof that Martin stole your money. Really? You think I don't have any kind of evidence? If you had any proof, the police would be here by now. You're just a jilted fiancé trying to get revenge on the family that rejected her. No police officer will investigate or work on a case that's built around personal emotions. But you've admitted to hitting me several times in our texts. So what? I just deleted all of them. So you can't use them as evidence. Oh no, you deleted them? <laughs> That's right, stupid girl. Oh no. Well, good thing I already took screenshots of all of them. Wait, you can do that? Not only that, remember how I called you from the hospital and asked you to pay for my medical bills? Yeah. Well... I recorded the call as well. You were quite vocal about what you did. You were proud of it. Needless to say, the police were quite convinced when I played the recording for them. On top of all your messages. Ugh, you filthy, wretched little girl. You can say whatever you want, but you're finished. Do whatever you want. All I'll have to do is pay your stupid medical bills or something. I'm not afraid, Nora. If I were you, I'd start packing a bag for your trip to jail. Jail? What on earth are you talking about? Who? Ever heard of someone going to jail for hitting their daughter-in-law? It's not like I was trying to kill you. First of all, I'm not your daughter-in-law. I'm not your family. What you did was assault. Second, I noticed something very strange when we went into your bedroom. What do you mean? I noticed a lot of cardboard boxes with a lot of expensive brand bags. So what? I can enjoy having a few nice bags, can't I? Yes, of course, but it was really fishy. Especially knowing that you don't work and that your son is a thief. You watch your mouth. Martin is not a thief. And why do you even know about that? It sounds like you were snooping around in my bedroom. Perhaps you're the thief here. You invited me into the room. I couldn't help but notice them, considering your room was lined with boxes. That doesn't prove anything. I could have bought all those with my savings for all you know. If that's the case, why didn't you store them somewhere better? Like your closet or use them? They're in the boxes to protect them. I don't want them to be damaged by sunlight or dust. Uh-huh. What about the watches? I get why you would be interested in handbags, but why on earth are you interested in men's watches? What? There were multiple watches in your room as well. I even noticed one was the exact same kind of Rolex as Martin has. Wait a minute. How do you know about my watch collection? They're in my drawer. Not in those boxes you claim you saw. You broke into my house. 
I knew it. Really? You think that's the only way I could know about the watches? Then how do you know about all this stuff? Martin came over last night, right? Yes, he came over. So what? You know, Martin was devastated when he lost his Rolex. He took such good care of it until the day it went missing. He asked the police to check whether someone broke into the apartment, but they couldn't find any trace of someone coming in by force. Get to the point. It hit me after seeing your bedroom that just maybe his watch was in there somewhere. What a surprise. Yet another baseless accusation from you with no proof. Sure, it started as just a hunch, but I wanted to make sure. So, although Martin and I weren't on good terms, I told him about the things I saw in your room and told him he may find his watch there. What? Of course, he didn't believe me at first, since he never really saw you walking around with fancy bags and whatnot. But he checked out of your room yesterday just to be sure. He recorded everything on his phone as well. He was very surprised to find his watch in the drawer. You're mistaken. It's not his watch. Really? Are you sure you still want to lie? There are ways to check, you know. Serial numbers. Wait. I can explain. Yes. Please do explain. Why was Martin's watch in your drawer? Why on earth would you rob your own child? I saw it on the news. They were saying due to shortages of certain material, the value of wristwatches was increasing. So, you were planning on selling the watch to make money? Is that why you stole it? It's important to make money, isn't it? Having money will get you anything. What else do you expect an old woman to do? The best way I can make money is selling secondhand luxury items. It would make sense only if the items you were selling were yours to begin with. I knew thievery ran in your family. Martin probably got the jeans from you. One more bullet I dodged by breaking off the engagement. No, I don't believe you. He laughed and talked with me like he always does and ate my pie then left. Well, that was probably because it was his last meal with you. I guess he tried to enjoy it as best as he could. What? Last meal? Did he say that to you? Yes, he did. He also apologized to me for not believing and gave me back all the money he stole from me. So, does that mean you'll get back together again? Absolutely not. That ship has sailed at the moment. He didn't try to believe me. Oh dear. I wonder what Martin's doing. Probably talking to the police right now. What? He would never betray his mother. He would never turn me in. Maybe he would. Maybe he wouldn't. But as I told you before, I have already filed police reports on both of you. So, you'll both be talking to the police soon as one way or another. If he had any sense, he'll flip on you to try to save his own butt. There's no way he would try to cover for you anymore after you stole from him. No! I know my son. He will always support me. You'll see. I'm gonna call him right now. Good luck with that. Reaching out for him won't be that easy, considering that he blocked you. No, that can't be right. You did this, didn't you? You forced him to block me. Sorry, but it wasn't me. He made the decision himself. I think that's the least of your worries. You should be worrying more about those bags, purses, and other accessories you have in your room. They were items that you stole, right? No, they're not. They're things I found or bought or were given to me. Yes, I'd practice that explanation for when the police arrive. You better hope no one has reported any of those things missing. There are so many. I'm sure someone is bound to have reported at least one of them. No! This can't be happening. Oh, this is really bad. Please take back the report. Tell them it was a prank. No, I don't think I will. I'm sure there's still a part of you that loves him. I saw how head over heels you were for him when you came to my house. That can't have disappeared with just this little mishap. What you did was no mishap. And no, I don't love Martin at all. I lost all feelings for him when he didn't believe me and stole my money. And even if we were still together, I would never try to support a thief like you. No, oh, you cold evil witch. You're a heartless little demon. Call me whatever you want. The police are still on their way. 
I don't want to go to jail because of this. Not at my age. You should have thought about that before you attacked me. But look on the bright side. You're not all that old. Maybe you'll get out of jail before you die. Please. Please don't do this to me. Please. Please, I beg you. Bye now. <laughs> In the end, Nora was arrested for assault and robbery. She was stealing from relatives and friends. She stole around $70,000 worth of goods and was planning to sell them off to make easy money. On top of the damage he caused to her friends and family, she also must pay for my medical bills. She ended up having to sell her house to cover for all of her debt. I'm sure Nora will be devastated once she gets out of jail without having a place to go back home. As for Martin, he ended up only getting a strict warning from the police since we lived together when he stole the money and he gave it back. He asked for my forgiveness and wanted to patch things up. But after seeing his true side, I couldn't get back with him. Now, I'm single but enjoying my life. I got my money back and now think it's a good time to pamper myself after all the things I went through.